You might not know the name of them, but you've probably seen them. Nurdles. They're plastic pellets often found mixed with sand at our local beaches. They are tiny, but they're leading to big problems for our ecosystem. Chief meteorologist Carlene Chavis looked for them with environmentalists and talked about what's being done locally to tackle the global hazard in this Earth Day report. I'm here on the pathway near the railroad tracks in Encinitas, and that's exactly where I found these. You're talking nurdles. It's a tiny plastic waste that is making its way from the tracks all the way to our ocean, and unfortunately, contributing to a larger pollutant problem that we have. Nurdles sitting on the beach. And that's just one of many hiding in plain sight. Boy. These tiny plastic balls have been found littering our coastline. It's the pre-production pellet of all plastic that is out there. So manufacturers then melt these noodles or pellets mm -hmm. into every plastic product that you see out there. Isn't that so sad? And you think this is on the beach as well? Noodles are transported across the globe by the chemical industry to plastic manufacturers. Look how many found. Well, Claire, who was already working to stop noodle pollution in South Africa, found them at our local beaches along with her son after moving to San Diego about three years ago. She estimates roughly trillions of these pellets have been found locally. So you'll see them all along here, so they're flying from the trains. Just on our short walk, we found a large number of them. I just found three while we're standing yeah. right here. Data collected from plastic waste organizations estimate 230 billion kilos, roughly 507 billion pounds of plastic nurdles into our seas and oceans annually. Fish mistake them for eggs or food, and they clog up their systems, they starve, and marine life are eating them and dying and starving, and then we eat the fish. Claire started Litter for Tokens in South Africa and has expanded to Trash for Tokens in North and South America to increase awareness about the harms of litter and plastic pollution, especially nurdles. It's just a nasty little plastic nugget that shouldn't be in the environment. Claire has teamed up with Mark O'Connor, a lead on the Rise Above Plastics program for Surfrider San Diego County. He always thought nurdles were only polluting our beaches from offshore spills. They located them in our own backyard on the rail system. They're falling off. Their rails go over lagoons where they go right in the water, get out to the ocean, roadways, right in the storm drains, out in the water. Surfrider Foundation is encouraging members and supporters to call and email their federal elected officials to support the Plastic Pellet Free Waters Act. The EPA has to issue the final rule to prohibit the way plastic pellets are discharged so that they don't make it into the waters of the United States. It's heartbreaking. These tiny pellets are highly toxic because they have hazardous chemicals attached to them. The size, plastic makeup, and toxicity of these pellets are an environmental threat, even when they're disposed of in landfills. See them just sitting on the sand. Claire is actively working with the United Nations and International Maritime Organization to get all countries to amend the International Maritime Dangerous Goods Code. So nurdles are shipped below deck in more secure containers and labeled as hazardous material. If the actual amendment of the code doesn't happen, it'll continue to leak in these different areas. The team at Trash for Tokens also encourages you to get involved in reducing nurdles in our county. They're a unique device. They have a, a unique code on them. Mm -hmm. so also known as mermaid tears, Claire created a mermaid tear catcher. So when you find the actual um, mermaid tears, you can log on to our website mm -hmm. and log the geographic location where you find those mermaid tears. They're very toxic, so yes. always wash your hands after you find the noodles. Place them into jars or envelopes. You can post them back to our foundation, but please don't put them back in the trash. Just one more way to keep our county's ecosystem and our bodies free from microplastics. For CBS 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Javis. All right, yes, and if you want to get your own mermaid tear catcher, as Claire said, she didn't come up with a name. That is actually another name for Nurdles. You can learn more about her organization and get your own at TrashForTokens.org. So this is it. It is a Frisbee. And it has see it? holes in it so that it can... So it's the sand and smaller out. pieces come through and the larger Nurdles stay. Correct. 
So Claire actually went through when designing this and made sure that it was the size of the hole was going to be good enough to mm -hmm. trap the nurdle and allow for loose sediment to come out of it. And you're saying there's um, some response from the EPA that we're waiting on? Yes, basically with that act that we had mentioned in the story, waiting for it to become a bill and pass. And so just kind of waiting on the EPA to approve that so that it is Deem basically... It Yes. Yeah, just seeing that just sheer carelessness in transport is causing this big of a problem is something that it sounds like it could be addressed pretty in a straightforward manner. I, I hope so. Claire has been fighting this for quite some time, so we'll see. Put that on a lot of people's radars. Thanks, Carly. Yes, you're welcome.